Okay, I've just finished unpacking Lumberyard from Amazon. Uh, this is for the Mappers guy. It's just Steve asked me a quick five minutes of first look in. Um, it took a while to unpack. There's quite a few gigabytes to say the least. I've also put all the extra add-ons that you can download currently. So uh, you'll find a batch file that you can launch. Uh, I've dropped a shortcut on my desktop. And what you will get is a screen like this at the very beginning. It'll ask you where you want to install your where your installation is. At the moment, in my badly spelt folder, it's here. Uh, it'll validate it itself. The next thing before you do anything else is you go to required software, and you need to get a tick on all these. Um, if you haven't already got these components installed, it'll let you install it from here. The only thing that you have to go to a website on is on this. So. Um, I've basically just downloaded it and pointed it to where I downloaded the uh, files for. Uh, if you've got Maya and all the other sorts of programs like that, you can tell it where your plugins are. I don't have Maya yet on here or anything, but I'll get that banged on later. Uh, then we can get started. So we can run the software and so on. Uh, anything else? Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not create a project, I'm just going to launch the editor and I'm going to load two samples up. I'll load the first one, which uh, I think is the chicken one I'm going to load up. Obviously you've got to have a chicken. What came first? Chicken the egg? Um, Steve's head. He'll appreciate that, I'm sure. So, uh, open level. Um, which one did I choose? Can't remember. It does have a reason list. Yeah, animation basic sample. So we're presented with a chicken. Um, it's pretty straightforward. This you've got camera sources and so on. You can do a bit of terrain editing. So I could quickly look at the terrain, for example. We can modify the terrain. And we have the ability to go to town. Now you can obviously dig it all down, or we can be a bit more finessed tune how far we want to do it but if I just do smooth we'll, uh, try and bring a bit of balance back to it um, if you've used the Far Cry editors before you'll probably get used to it uh, there's not a lot to show you here but what I did want to show you is I don't have that great a machine I freely admit that but it's really not using too much power it's using 20% of my CPU I've only got six cores but memory wise it's only using 232. Uh, if you want to test a game, you can switch straight into the game. And this doesn't really do a lot. There's a chicken. It does some chickeny things. Uh, so if we ignore the chicken, I just like to. I just like the chicken. There's something about the chicken that appeals to me. If we go to file and open, uh, and we go with a completed level. Nope, we don't want to save changes. So it doesn't take long to load. We've got a test level, admittedly nothing special with the graphics, but it's got a bit of physics in here and a bit of uh, animation. Uh, so I'm going to switch to game, show you what I mean. So we've got a nice little robot, and I immediately start thinking, well, if we can do this, we can make a first person shooter quite quickly. Uh, and we can smash through these blocks, and there we go. Nothing special, it works. Um, there are quite a lot of samples you can load in. Uh, obviously, this is a s simple one, uh, and the, the tools are fairly straightforward when you want to. Uh, I haven't clicked on it. We can change quite a few things. We can add vegetation in. Uh, you, had, you have to browse to the object you want. So you need to learn where all your objects are that you're going to pull in. So if you create your own, they're going to have to follow the format that they ask you to do. So I suggest you get your Maya or whatever running to bring all those in, and that is a quick glance at this and do you know if you've used radiant before which many of us have this is so <laughs> smooth compared to radiant and i really hope the new um editor that's been pulled together by the guys at treyarch is uh, as smooth because you meant to be able to do a lot more in it but hey that's a sideline but what i'm going to do i'm going to spend the weekend and i'm going to knock out my own little level with a character to roam around it and then uh, we'll do a proper video from there but that's my quick five minute look